Hi guys, Brian here, Big B Rebooted, your favorite fat guy, here to take you on another fishing adventure. I'm going to hit a hole today I haven't hit since the spring. Um, it's one of my favorite holes, but it's changed over the last couple years, so, you know, I don't know how well it's going to do. We just had some thunderstorms and stuff roll through, so that's going to play into it. Uh, hope I can get into some bass. Hope I can make a video, so, hey, if you're watching this, stick around. Well, what I may do is fish up to that tree that's overhanging or walk up to that tree and then fish my way down and come down to where that tree's overhanging down there, if I have time. We'll see, we'll see what I get into. Never know. I've had really good experiences here and I've had not so good experiences here. So, we'll see where it goes. Absolutely crazy. And it's getting darker, so hopefully if it rains, it's there's no lightning associated with it. Because that would suck. There we go. Okay. Nice bass to start the day. Come here, Bob. Come on, dude. Okay. He's a little guy. I'll take him. See you later, bud. Thank you. Okay, I told you wrong. I have the natural Helgramite on. Natural Nico Helgramite. So... It's right where I want to be. There's another one right there. That's not too bad. That's a rock bass. Holy smokes. Look at the size of this guy. Come here, buddy. There you go. Nice little rock bass. See you later, bud. Thank you. <laughs> That's crazy. I've seen some I've seen some bare, fairly big fish. There goes another decent one right there. He's not as big as the one I saw earlier. There we go. That's a nice one. Oh. What in the world? I have been having major trouble with my hook set lately. And I don't know why. Sorry guys. I casted that one and didn't have my camera running. I have missed a couple decent ones. A couple smaller ones and I think it's because my my hook was bent so I had to take care of that let's see if, see if I was able to fix that hopefully hopefully I fixed it Throw it right there There we go. <laughs> and that is a rock bass. <laughs> well, not what I was expecting. See you later, bud. Not what I was, what I was expecting at all. There's another one. That's another rock bass.
You tried your best to choke it, didn't you? Okay, bud. See you later. Well, there's two rock bass. Time to move on. Because all the rock bass are fun to catch. That is not what I'm after. There goes two more nice sized bass. I am beside myself. I'm about to switch jig heads because I am missing. I'm using the same setup that I've used for the last couple years. There we go. Okay. Come here, buddy. Come on, dude. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just trying to help you out here. There you go. He's a little fella, a little feisty guy. Not the behemoth I'm looking for, but what I started to say is, I'm using the exact same setup that I have used for the last couple years, and I haven't had a problem with it until the last couple days. In the last couple trips that I've made, I have just missed fish after fish after fish and I don't know why. I'm hooking the Helgramite the same. I am using the same type of jig head. I am just, I don't know. I'm actually a little frustrated because, you know, I should be catching these fish, not losing them. Unreal. <laughs> I'll take you, buddy. I'll take you. Nice little rock bass. <laughs> See ya, bud. No, I caught a stick. That's got to count for something. Uh, you can hear the frustration in my voice. I am overly frustrated right now. I did not expect this trip to at least start off this way anyway. Well, while I'm fishing here, I can go into uh, detail about what I use. First off, I use a five and a half foot ugly stick. It's a two, the one I'm using currently is a two piece job that I don't like. It's a little too flimsy for me. Uh, I use a PC Fun Carbon X 1000 on this on this rod I'm using six six pound mono. Uh, I don't remember if it's Strand or whose it is, but I use one thirty second ounce jig head, and obviously, as a lot of you guys know, I use the Nico Helgramite. 
Now with the Nico Helgramites, you know, I can, I use different uh, colors. I have a bunch of them. My primary colors that I use are the natural and what I have on right now, the mud bug. But I've used the magma, I've used the obsidian, I've used the watermelon. You know, I, I've used a whole bunch of different, uh, whole bunch of different uh, colors. I used to have a brown, which I don't think they even have anymore. The brown ones worked well. And it seemed like it worked well in like conditions like this, where the sun's out and it's clear. You know, that kind of thing. But that's pretty much what I use, guys. You know, the 32 ounce is heavy enough for me to cast. There we go. Oh, that's a freaking... <laughs> Another rock bass. Come here, buddy. 32 ounce allows me to... There you go, pal. Have a good day, bud. Thank you. It allows me to cast how I would like to cast, but it also allows the Helgramite to float because that's what uh, the Nico Helgramites are designed to do. They're actually designed to float. If you were just to drop one in the water, it'll float on top of the water. And I use the jig heads that I use and I place it in the head. So what that does is put the tail up so when there's a little bit of current like there is in here right now, that, that Helgramite will go to the bottom and it'll wiggle because of the, of the current. So really you don't have to sit there and, I mean you can, you don't have to really jig it a little all that much. Now you see me doing that from time to time, which I do do it. Whether I do it with my rod like like this, or if I do it with my just my finger and pulling on the line just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of an action. But it works. It all works. Ugh. Not only did I have to wait across slate. There we go. I got something, something nice. I'll take you. Yeah, one of the better bass today. Come on, dude. Come on. There we go. See you later, buddy. <laughs> you don't have to have much to, you don't have to do much to give it a, a natural presentation. There's one. That's a nice one. At least it feels like a nice one. I don't even know what it is. Oh yeah, there he is. Well, I'm going to say he's the biggest one today. Come here, buddy. Ah, oh, you just got me. The last one got me. There you go. See you later, bud. Ah. <laughs> well, it's not where I wanted it to be. But that's where I'm at. And that's what's there. Nice. Hanging right there under that tree. Oh my goodness, a beauty.
come on yes sir real beauty there we go that's what i'm talking about right there that's what i'm talking about see you later buddy <laughs> He definitely didn't waste any time. I think that was one right there. Yes, sir. I'll take you. Another nice one. Okay. I'll take you. He's smaller, but I'll take him. See you later, bud. Awesome. Wonder if there's another one in there. Ah, uh, there was something. I think it was small though, whatever it was. Didn't feel very big. There's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. I was just about ready to reel in and move on. Come on, Bob. There we go. He's a feisty little guy. See you later, pal. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's a little fella, but I'll take him. Oh, well, I can't show him to you guys. <laughs> he just got off and flopped out all right well okay guys that's gonna wrap up this adventure i had a lot of fun today uh it started out crappy as far as the weather it, it was spitting rain and it was overcast and the wind was blowing and and then it cleared up and the sun came out and it just cranked up the heat man it is hot um caught a lot of bass caught a nice several nice smallies and i caught a couple decent little rock bass man had a lot of fun had a lot of fun uh, if you liked the video, you know, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, if you like the videos I post, think about subscribing to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys, keep on fishing. <laughs>